are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Tuesday, the 27th of October. I'm James Spann. Zeta is on the way. Tropical rain returns to Alabama tomorrow and tomorrow night. A lot to talk about here, so let's get right to it. First off, the big picture. This is the upper air look across the country. It's a pretty active look right there. Got a very deep upper low over Arizona and a shallow layer of cold air across parts of Oklahoma and the southern Plain states. A nasty icing situation continues there. Here we've got ridging across Florida and, of course, the tropical system that's over the Yucatan of Mexico. But this morning it's quiet. That was the radar at 430, showing nothing across our state. Rains continue well to the north and west. Temperatures are mostly in the 60s this morning, although Haleyville's down to 55. We're expecting highs around 80 in most spots today. And for most locations, the day will be dry with only isolated showers. So here's the current watch warning situation. Uh, We have a tropical storm warning in effect for parts of south and southwest Alabama. That would include Mobile and Baldwin counties, of course, but inland counties as far north as Clark, Wilcox, Choctaw, Butler, and Crenshaw. In the north of there, there's a tropical storm watch in effect for Marengo, Dallas, Lowndes, Montgomery, Perry, Otaga, Elmore, Chilton, and Coosa counties. That's for the possibility of tropical storm force winds tomorrow night. That would be greater than 40 miles per hour with tropical storm force gusts. And then a flash flood watch in effect for parts of North Georgia. Here's the severe weather outlook through tonight. No severe weather expected. Then tomorrow... We do have a risk of severe storms for parts of the Gulf Coast with the approach of our tropical system. And again, this outlook runs through 7 a.m. Thursday. We've got the standard slight risk over Mobile, Baldwin, Escambia, parts of Covington, Geneva, and Coffee counties. Then a marginal risk as far north as Selma and Lake Martin. There could be a few isolated tornadoes over the southern half of the state. The primary threat over the far southern part of Alabama. And then this is day three, which is Thursday after 7 a.m. Thursday, just a a marginal risk over the southeastern tip of the state. But the weather greatly improves here during the day Thursday. Uh, So here's the watch warning map around the country. Had to show what's happening back off in the southern Plain states. An ice storm warning again for parts of Texas and Oklahoma. Winter storm warnings in effect for parts of West Texas and much of New Mexico with the big system back in the southwest. Here's the rain for the next seven days. And obviously numbers are increasing here. Uh, Most of Alabama expecting now between two and four inches of rain from Zeta with lighter amounts for the southeastern corner of the state. The heavier totals expected and the yellow colors there through parts of Marengo, Hale, Perry, Dallas and Choctaw counties in southwest Alabama. So Zeta now a tropical storm. It's inland over the tip of the Yucatan Peninsula. That will be back over the Gulf of Mexico soon, regaining hurricane strength. There's really not much change in the forecast. Uh, The system should move into southeast Louisiana tomorrow evening, then rapidly move through Alabama and wind up uh, by Thursday night as a subtropical storm south of Cape Cod. Uh, this is the excessive rain outlook days one through three. We have a slight risk of flat, flash flooding across Alabama. Uh, the ground, I think we can handle most of the rain, but there could be some isolated problems with that. And this is the surge expectations for the Gulf Coast, the storm surge for the Alabama Gulf Coast over toward uh, the Okaloosa-Walton County line between two and four feet. Let's go through the GFS. This is the 06 e run today at four, upper low over southern New Mexico. Again, nasty icing, parts of West Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Missouri, the areas in pink, snow for much of New Mexico. And the tropical system is down in the Gulf of Mexico, Zeta. And again, there could be a few scattered showers today, better chance over South Alabama. So this is tomorrow at 4, and you can see Zeta basically on the Louisiana coast. This is tomorrow night, just after midnight, 1 a.m. Thursday, the uh, remnant circulation coming up through southwest Alabama. And this, by the way, is the STP, the significant tornado parameter at the same time, just after midnight tomorrow night. And you can see the numbers are much higher across the southwestern part of the state. So if you are in 
Uh, Mobile or Baldwin, Escambia, Monroe, Connecticut counties, places like that. Just be aware there could be a few brief isolated tornadoes tomorrow night. The northern half of the state, the air probably too stable, and we're north of the track of the surface low up here, so don't think there's any problems. Then by 7 a.m. Thursday, the STP values are lower across the southeastern part of the state. And then this is Thursday afternoon at 4. The remnant low is over Virginia, and the weather should greatly improve during the day Thursday. Rain should be ending pretty early in the day for most of the state. Uh, The afternoon Thursday should be dry. Thursday night should be dry across Alabama. And Friday should be a beautiful day, a sunny day. We start the day around 50. The high will be in the mid to upper 60s. This is Saturday. It's Halloween. What a beautiful day. We'll start the day in the 40s. The high at or just over 70. Perfect fall weather. And then Sunday, a little trough swings through, and uh, I guess it might squeeze out a few isolated showers, but the air is awfully dry, so rain, if any, should be really light, really spotty. Otherwise, partly sunny with low 70s. And by the way, we go back on standard time. That's November 1st. Monday, we're dry. Lows in the 40s, highs in the 60s. And this is a week from today, Tuesday the 3rd. Got a big ridge developing just north and west of the state. And again, that's dry. This is election day. Much of the country, nice and quiet. No major weather issues. We'll go out 10 days. This is Thursday of next week, the 5th of November. Big old high. Look at that 594 high over Nevada. Wow. Wow. But a little trough north and west of the state. But for us, we're still dry. Rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble. The mean about two and a half inches. Most of that will be with Zeta tomorrow and tomorrow night. And the numbers, temperatures come down nicely. Highs in the 60s Friday through Monday. Lows in the 40s. And after that, things look very seasonal. And the latest CPC outlook, this is for November 3rd through the 9th, suggesting temperatures might be a little above average if this verifies. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.